Hello guys, I'm Jitender from the Office Guest Tutorials. Welcome to the second video of my series Thesis Writing in MS Word. Now this video is going to be a continuation of the last video. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I would first recommend you to go and watch that video. So let's not wait anymore and dive into the tutorial. So here you can see on the screen, I have opened two word files. One, you can see the name indicates wrong and the one is indicated by correct. So if you might have noticed the last tutorial, I have told uh, there are some complication in the template that I have given and how you can rectify it. So this video is related to that. So let me just first show you what is that issue. So you can see the content page, the numbering is given as one, which is actually wrong. In most of the thesis formats, the content page, the abstract page, the list of table, the list of figures and all those page will have the, the numbers will be in a Roman style. I'm not sure, but I think these are called Roman styles and these are called numerals. So uh, these are the numeric values. Now, if you see our introduction one in the wrong format, the introduction is a third number. Okay. So what happens? Usually it is recommended to have the first page number over here. However, in the corrected one, if you see uh, here you have in Roman letters I, which stands for one, uh, two, and then the number starts again one and two like that. So I will take the wrong format now. I'll close the correct one and I'll just show you how can you correct that as well. So I'll just I'm going to close this and I'm going to and I'm okay. So right now I don't want to save any changes. So I'm clicking don't save and let me just maximize this window. So before I just tell you, let me just give you a quick introduction on how to do that in a new document. Okay, that 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 will be easier because I don't want you to restrict to this document only in future. If you're writing any other document also, you can apply the same fundamental in the other document as well. So what is actually the scenario here? For example, you have abstract. Okay, in the next page, I have pressed control enter to bring you to the next page and you have introduction. Now, how to give the page number? Usually you can do, you can double click over here. Okay, in the footer section. So just let me do it once again. You come to the top bottom of the page and double click. And there you get an option under design tab called page number. Come to page number and choose bottom of the page. And the most widely used is called plane number two. So I will use that. And now you have page number one here and number two here. But what actually I want is I want I to be here and one numeral number to be here and that uh, uh, Roman number to be here. So how to deal with this situation? What you have to do is let's say I will add a paragraph here. So random and uh, one paragraph of 10 lines. So let's say this is my paragraph. So the moment you finish writing an abstract, just press enter once and come to layout option and break and you have to choose called section break. So next page. Okay. Now if I double click once again on the header section, okay, in the top one inch area. So now you can see that this is says header of the section one footer of the section one header of the section two and same footer of the section two. Now I know that my second page is going to be a section two. And why we need to define a section because I want to define the section one footer is different and the section two footer is different. So come to the section two header and there under the design tab, you can see link to previous. Now what is happening here right now, our header and footers are linked with the previous section. But as you know, we want to break that chain. So what we are going to do, I'm going to click link to previous with this. You can see that tab, which was earlier here, same as previous is now gone. Now we are good to go. So now I, I can select this. I'll come to page number format page number and the number format here is I and means I or the Roman letters and I'll click. OK, now you can see you have I here and two here. I want this to be number one because this is going to be my introduction chapter. So I'll click on the page number format page number start at one and I'll click OK. Now with this, you can see you have I over here and one here. Now, whenever you write any other next page also. Okay. So let's say you write next page. 
you will notice that you have two coming up here so let me just implement this in the previous document i hope this idea is clear to you what we are going to do so i want one two but i want here roman numbers and from here i want number one so i have to give a break somewhere here so i will double click over here before that we have to tell microsoft word that where to break the section so i will click in the last of uh, means a line before the introduction layout break and give a section break so with this you can see you have a section break over there if you are not sure that you got the section break or not you can just click on this button over here okay so right now or the other option is you can come to the view option outline now you can see after abstract and introduction in between we have a section break now come back to the home tab uh, and click on this to just remove any any other thing come to outline and click close outline view now we came back and we are now sure that we have a section break there next what you are going to do is double click uh, just above the introduction and right now you can see it is linked with the previous so it is written same as previous so what i'm going to do is next i'm going to click link to the previous and i'll just check it off so it's now no more linked with the previous section so now i will select this and a page number and format page number and i will choose this i okay and click okay so now i will just double click anywhere and now you can see the content is page number i or one the abstract has uh, this letter two an introduction is already he got uh, number one okay so you need not to worry in case you have three here just come to format format page number and you can just click start at one so with this you can see we have roman and both now come to the table of content once you click update table over here update the entire table and you can see the numbers are updated so abstract is on the second roman number page so in this way you can implement the different page numbers in your word document in the next video we are going to discuss how to automatically move a new chapter to odd number page if you write thesis you might have noticed the new chapter starts always from the right hand side which means an odd page so in the next tutorial i am going to tell you how can you bring a new chapter automatically to an odd page so that's all guys for this video i hope you like this tutorial please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your fellow mates i'll see you in the next video thank you